Okay, let's take a look at this first. Okay. Um, so you are 90 all res, 29 chaos. Your weapon is okay. It's all right. Um, it definitely works. I prefer fractured dot multi because you can craft fire multi, but it's a very good weapon. You're not replacing that. You got a fizz. Okay. That's very good. Rise of the Phoenix. You've got a conk burn helmet. You are missing a fizz damage taken. So maybe you want to potentially recraft it in the future and sell this one that's optional but that will make you more tanky you have a cloak of flame okay you have ignite spread you have chaos res regen the only downside here is your gloves don't have percent regen they have flat regen um so in an example here it wouldn't it, it wouldn't make too much of a difference but it does help so say instead of this 96 regen right look at your region on the side it's 1068 if i replace this for say like 19 percent increased life regeneration rate this actually gets you so much more regen than the flat so this is why i really like percent regen especially as a chieftain because we have so much flat regen from stacking fire res so percent regen helps a lot by doing that, you can also potentially drop the Kikizuru because, you, I mean, you have to get a little bit more regen, but you can aim towards dropping the Kikizuru by doing that, which is nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, let's see. I'm not a big fan of this mod you have here on this flask, but it's okay if you like it. You have armor... You have attack speed. So one one thing here, this is a big thing for a lot of people. You want to start pivoting all of your flasks into these types of flasks here. You see how I have gain charges when hit by an enemy? And then you do use when charges reach full. This makes it so your flasks go off automatically and they will make you way more tanky. Another downside I see here is you don't have a reduced effective shock flask and you really want to get that reduced effective shock flask because we are not immune to shock then as scrya said i would drop one of your flasks probably the silver for a taste of hate for fizz damage taken as x element that will help you a ton so like just as an example here you see your fizz max hit if i were to put in a taste of hate right there and this is like a mid-rolled one that boosts your 13k to 16k and then from the 16k, if we enable the granite, you're 17k. So that already helps. Over here, you have a cluster jewel that has flow of life, but you have a jewel socket open. So if you want to get into the later stages of the build where you get more damage, here is what we can go ahead and do for you. So currently at 113, we can go ahead and do this. So you can look for jewels that have like, say, life, burning. Uh, I guess I guess here I'll just put like fire damage. You do like life, fire damage, burning damage. If you open up my chieftain pob and look in the notes, there are a lot of different affixes you can get on jewels. For example, if burning is too expensive, you can get increased area as another option, right? And just by getting a jewel like this, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at your damage here. So we're gonna enable RF and we're gonna enable your fire trap. We're at 970K and we're gonna put guardian. And then we're gonna put, you are standing still for one second here. Okay, so your damage goes up. The target is ignited. You have life tap. So we're 1.4, wait, that's so low. What am I missing here? Wait a minute, why is your damage low? Oh, this life tap should be 20. Then you wanna make sure your fire trap, you wanna pivot into a plus one fire trap. So you wanna do that. The quality is not really very important here. So that is already a big source of damage. But your damage looks kind of low, though. Why is it still so low? 
But let's start working into this. So we're at 90 points. Let me go ahead and drop the minion damage. You're at 1.5, right? So we're going to go ahead and plug in a jewel here. Although for this jewel, we're actually going to change it because you have a lot of increase. And instead of this area damage, I'm going to switch to damage over time multiplier. We're going to add that jewel there. And that jewel alone almost already gives you back the damage you lost from spiritual aid. You're looking at RF, not fire trap. No, I'm looking at the full damage. Then with those points, we're going to go ahead and go back like this. I guess because you're because you're over here, we can just go this way. Then we can go into another medium cluster. So we'll just copy your, your second cluster here like that. Okay. And do you need this aura effect node? You do. Okay. So another thing we can do here is um, let me take a look at your masteries. Oh, it's because yeah, I see maybe because of arsonist though. Speaking of arsonist, what do you have Ash Frost and Storm? What's on your amulet? You don't have an anoint. Oh. Oh, okay. So you need to anoint your amulet as well. So I will just anoint Ash Frost and Storm here. Okay. Ash Frost and Storm gives you like a 50k damage increase. It's pretty nice. Now, looking at your auras here. Someone made a good comment. Um, you've got Purity of Fire to term Skitter. Now, if you get... So you already have a 21 to... Uh, you have a 22. Oh, okay. Wow, we can do lots of changes here. So take a look at this. You currently have a 22 Purity of Fire, right? If you bump your Purity of Fire to 23, watch this. See your 89 max res? Your Purity of Fire, if you get one level, shoots you back to 90 which means you can actually drop all of that right there. So we have a lot of points to work with now. So I'm going to just come over here and put in another jewel. And now you get your other life jewel back. So you can also, I think, drop this node when you have a 23 purity of fire. Ah, it's not an eight passive cluster. That's why. Okay. Yeah, you really want an eight passive cluster here. An 8 passive cluster will save you a lot of points. So let me actually just fix that and make you one. Cluster jewel. Okay. Jewel cluster. Create. I'm just going to do burning damage. Yo, Justin, thanks for the bits. I will get to you after this. Just remind me, okay? So fire damage. We're going to scroll this down all the way to the minimum. We're just going to put um, prismatic heart. And that's it. We're just going to make it simple and budget just like that. Okay. Now you're spending like less points. You're spending minus one skill point here. So this works out well. This in the back is always optional. So you don't have to take it. I call them fluff points. If you happen to get a cluster to push this in front, then it's definitely worth it. Right? So if I put like, I think it's Doriani's lesson, it would push it to the front. I forgot what it's called. So now we're going to go ahead and you have two options here. So you have 10 extra points that you can go into. With these 10 extra points, you can A, go into a cluster, or B, you can go into jewels. For the sake of this, let's go into jewels. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first grab Cruel Preparation because we want to get your life up. Let's even take the 6% life node. 15% max life, you're using a Cloak of Flame. You absolutely need to use this. So this will boost up your max life now a lot. So 84, so you still have more points. I will grab this and put in another one of these jewels, okay? Then over here, we can also go ahead and grab a jewel right here for two points like this. Another option now is removing this part. Um, you can remove this if you have the currency to go into another cluster. So by removing this, it would look something like this here. It would look like that. And then we want to go ahead and take that mastery 
and push it into another one, like here, for example, like, uh, where is it? Uh, why am I drunk? There it is. And then we're going to go here and we're going to put on that other large cluster. And we're just going to go here and here. So now we're at 91. And if you have the currency to afford it, I would just literally fill that shit up with jewels. So now we have bumped your life up almost a thousand. You're at 5k. Your damages went up like from 1.4, 1.3 mil to like 2.1 million. Now, granted, your build's going to be a little bit more expensive, but now we have the option of doing even more stuff. So if we look at your character right now, I don't know how much intelligence you need in general. So I'm going to just start tattooing intelligence here. I don't know. Um, shock. Here we go. Velaco Scout. Let's do it. Can I do another? Velaco Scout. Is it going to yell at me? Okay. So you don't have the in for that. So that's okay. So you can do one tattoo. Um, the other option is removing a jewel here or here in favor of one extra point to get this because then you can get 20% reduced effective shock here, right? So that's another option. Just, just an extra thing. So I'm happy with how your skill tree looks right now. You are still, I guess it says required level. Let's remove that. There, 91. So we can just drop that. You're at 90, exactly where you were basically. Now I'm going to go ahead and pay a little bit more attention to your gear and your skills. Make sure everything is okay. Just extra, extra confirm. Uh, you are actually missing reduced critical damage here. So I would definitely take this 100%. I would not go for this because normally I would do this with physical damage taken as chaos. Your chaos is not good. Even though you have a flask, I would not rely on the flask for that. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and remove Prismatic Heart because we are short on points. So I'm going to put that point back into the life node. And then I'm actually going to go back to your amulet because now that we're not using Arsonist anymore, we can go ahead and anoint that. So your amulet is currently the Citrine amulet. So we're going to just go ahead and go here and we're going to do Arsonist. And you can see Arsonist actually gives you damage. This is because you're lacking multi, which is very normal. Okay, so we're at a nice solid 2 million. Let me just peek some more and see what else we can do. So punishment is good. Blood rage is optional. Your RF links are solid here. Righteous fire, burning damage with affliction, LA focus, life tap. Your fire trap is solid over here. Your infernal cry is good. I would probably not run a level 20 cast when damage taken. Um, I would run a low level one. Also, I don't know if this is actually doing anything. You might want to set up a guard skill. This is good. Um, this is also good. And then you have your approaching flames. Feels like your damage is still low and I don't understand why exactly. Am I missing something in the config? I don't think so. Why does this damage feel low? Ah, malevolence. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So if you commit to the taste of hate setup, right? And you're able to get a new helmet, right? Because your helmet currently has... Uh, what is this? You have life, which is a prefix. Is reflect a prefix? Reflect has to be a prefix because regen. Yeah, okay. So if you're able to get a new helmet in the future, it's going to be tricky because you want to get a fizz damage taken as fire helmet. Then what you're able to do is you can actually drop, and it might work because you do have the corruption here. So you could already try this. You could try dropping determination in favor of malevolence. Like this. What did I just do? Why does this damage just go down? I removed skitter? Oh, I misclicked, sorry. I'm new, by the way, first time. Okay. And that 
puts you closer to 2.5 million. I still am not super happy with the damage, but I think that that's good enough. That, that definitely gets you clearing like quite a bit.